The death of King Richard III in 1485 at the Battle of Bosworth ended the War of the Roses in the Middle Ages. The last English king to die in battle, his cause of death was unknown. On September the 4th, 2012, his skeleton was excavated from the site of a former car park in Leicester. So can we now answer the question, how was the king killed? A team from the University of Leicester, Leicester Royal Infirmary and the Royal Armouries in Leeds used archaeology alongside the latest forensic techniques to analyse his mortal remains. Using crime light to inspect his skeleton, post-mortem computed tomography scans and reconstruction software, a micro CT scanner and DNA extraction. Alongside the UNESCO Manual for Investigation of Torture, comparison with remains from other medieval battlefields, and a study of sword marks made on bone performed on cow's legs. The team pieced together the last moments of the king. A total of 11 injuries have been identified. A number of injuries consistent with a dagger were identified to the cranium, jaw, cheekbones and 10th rib. The facial injuries are relatively slight in comparison to contemporary battles. Neither would they be expected in someone wearing the most modern and effective armour of the day. So it is likely they were inflicted after death, once the armour had been removed. A three centimetre long injury was present to the right pelvis. This area was one of the most vulnerable in medieval battle, but the only blow capable of bypassing Richard's armour was a blow delivered underneath, and the angle of the wound is not consistent with this. Again, this injury is more likely to have occurred after his death. It's consistent with accounts that Richard's body was slung over the back of a horse and suffered insults. Two injuries to the cranium were identified which would certainly have been fatal. A 6 by 5 cm wound, consistent with that from a sword or staff weapon, and a penetrating injury travelling 10 cm through bone and brain from a sword tip or top spike of a bill or halberd. Their position at the base of the skull suggests they were delivered from above to a victim, either kneeling or prone. Accounts of the battle suggest that Richard III abandoned his horse after it got stuck in a mire and went down fighting surrounded by his enemies. His head injuries are entirely consistent with that. But neither they, nor any of the multiple injuries, are consistent with an individual wearing armour of the late 15th century type. 